Today we have a 2012 MacBook Pro 13 inch that came in because of a black screen issue. The computer does turn on, but there's nothing on the screen. The customer was using this computer last night with no issues. Everything was turning on, everything was perfect. This morning he woke up, he turned it on, and now the screen is okay. black. So a black so, screen could mean, uh, it could be that the computer is working and the image is being projected onto the screen, but the reason we cannot see the screen is because the backlight is bad. If the screen backlight is not turning on, even if there's an image on the screen, you're not gonna be able to see it because the only way to see the image is to have the backlight turned on. Now, to verify that this is a backlight issue, what we do is we turn on the laptop first. We do this by plugging in the charger, since it doesn't, the battery is zero. We do see a green light, which means 19 volts is getting in. Our one wire circuit, which is a 3.4 volt rail is working. We did hear a chime, which means the CPU is working. The fans are spinning, so everything is working, but our screen is still black. Okay, so now if we shine a light at the Apple sign, which is right here, if we do see an image on the screen, it means our issue is a backlight and we can go ahead and look at the backlight circuit and, and solve our issue. If we do not see an image on the screen, our issue is bigger and we would go a different route. So let me shine a light at the Apple sign, switch camera angles so you can see better. And if you look at this, look at this. Image is being projected onto the screen. Apple sign is showing. Computer is working, so our issue is the backlight. So that's what we're gonna be working on. Let's take a look at the circuit diagram. All right, so this is the circuit diagram for our 2012 MacBook Pro 13 inch. This is the A23115 board. What I'm interested in is the LVDS connector. This is the connector that the screen connects to. Let me just, uh, it should be J9000. J9000, right over here. So backlight is present at pins 21 and 22. So this is what we are interested in. PPV out, SW, LCD, back LT. Where is this coming from? Okay, so what we have to do is uh, start by testing PP bus SO LCD back light. This should be about 12.8 volts. This is a fuse. Now, the first thing I want to test is the fuse. I want to see if my fuse is good or is it blown. If it's blown, then we change it and we test again. Now, if the fuse is not blown, then we look at other parts of the circuit diagram. So let's locate F9 7000 on the board. That's our fuse, the F9700. And this fuse is located next to the LVDS connector, which is down here. Okay, so right over here. That's our backlight driver. Let's take a look under the microscope. So where is our fuse? Oh, wait a minute. I do see signs of water damage. I do see signs of water damage right over here. The customer said no liquid spill. Customer said no liquid spill. So what's going on? Look at this. Look at this. Okay. So this is water, this is caused by water. And this is our fuse right here, labeled P. That's our fuse. I will do, I need to test our fuse and see if it's good. And this should beep if it's good. I do not hear a beep. 
let's put it in resistance mode and our fuse is bad low fuse we need to change it so I think what I'm going to do is change all four components the fuse I'm gonna change the capacitors down here one two and I'm going to change this one too LVDS connector should be good maybe we'll see and as for the two capacitors down here one of them is a backlight capacitor labeled as C9020 C9796 and C9020 Are you ready? One, two, three Perfect. I think I see damage to the to the board, to the lines. What's this over here? Looking at the LVDS connector, I just want to see what those two pins are, where the bore itching is at. So we want to count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm interested in 9, 10, starting from right. So nine and ten. So pins tw 20 and 21 are being connected to the two caps that we took off from here. Now I do see some damage on the, on the paddings. So we may need to run wires from this and this. These two are connected. These two are one. This is it. Pins 20 and 21 need to connect to the top of, of the capacitors. The bottom is, is just ground. That's our fuse back in place. We just want to test and make sure it's working properly. Okay, fuse is good. But we are getting a short here at these two points. It could be our capacitor or maybe the board itself.
Okay, so I'm <clears throat> so I'm going to remove our backlight chip, and I'm going to do some testing to see if we're getting any short to ground. Now, by just looking at the components, I see that everything looks nice and clean. Okay, so things that could short the circuit at this point can be e either this capacitor, this capacitor, this one, these two, or even this transistor or this one here. Okay, so let's go over what we did so far. <laughs> uh, what we know is the customer brought in the computer, no backlight on the screen. We are trying to troubleshoot the backlight circuit. We discovered that there's water damage on the board. Uh, the first thing we checked for was the fuse and uh, the fuse was blown. We replaced the fuse, it blew again because something else is causing the fuse to blow. We tested for a short and we did find a short on this line right here, PPV out, switch backlight. So uh, one, of, uh, one of you things can be causing the short. It could be one of those three capacitors. It could be these two capacitors. Or if, if we follow PPV out SWLCD back LT, we find out that there's also this capacitor that could be causing the short. Now we remove this capacitor. We remove the LVDS connector, which is the LCD connector. We remove these capacitors. And for the fuse, we just shorted the, the pads on the board. We did not put a fuse in because it's gonna blow again. So we just made this a straight line. What we did is remove the backlight chip as well. And we still have a short. At this point, what I'm going to do is apply some voltage to this line here and we're going to use our flare camera to see uh, what gets hot on the board. We're going to follow the heat and we're going to see what component uh, could be causing the issue. So I'm soldering the wire uh, at this point here. This is uh, C9799. C9799 is this capacitor here. So we're gonna solder our wire here. This is our wire, it's soldered onto the capacitor. Our wire is plugged in to our power supply. We we're uh, feeding 3.8 volts. Ground is going to one of the corners on the board. And before we turn on the power supply, we're gonna aim our flare camera on the board and we're gonna quickly see what gets hot on the board. So we're gonna uh, check the front of the board and then we're gonna flip it to check the back of the board. So uh, let me switch over to the flare cam. You know what, let me make the whole camera, you know, instead of having picture in picture, let me just make the whole camera a thermal cam. So we can see the whole image. Okay. Okay, so turn on the power supply. One, two, three. All right. So this this is the point that's getting hot, right here. And this is our capacitor on the back. If we flip the board, it's this area at the at the LVDS connector. LED driver is out, LCD connector is out, the fuse, we just made it one line. These two caps, I did remove them and put them back on. And the short is not coming from them. 
Okay, so uh, wait a minute. So there's one capacitor what, uh, that we did not check for. One capacitor we did not check for, and that could be the problem. Right now, we do not have any more options. It's got to be this capacitor. C9797. This could be shortened the circuit to ground. Right there. And this is it. Let's remove it and check if the short is gone. The final verdict is we were not able to fix the board. Uh, we put a lot of hours trying to fix the board, but unfortunately some boards cannot be fixed. Let's backtrack a bit to speak about uh, you know, what we did. Laptop came in, we narrowed down the problem uh, to be in a backlight issue. Um, we opened the schematic for this board and we looked at the backlight circuit. Uh, we found a blown fuse. We tested for a short circuit, we did find a short circuit. Uh, components that could be causing a short are the capacitors, the LED, LED driver chip and the LVDS connector. We took educated guesses and removed components that could be causing the short. We still have a short. We removed all components on the line that could be causing the short, but uh, we still got a short. Uh, we looked at our floor cam while injecting 5 volts at the backlight output, and the floor cam did show us where the short is. Uh, the short is next to the LVDS connector where rust and corrosion made its way through. Now, as you know, the MacBook motherboard is made out of layers, and in between the layers, th there are lines that run through. Somehow one of the lines is uh, grounded, and that's what's causing our short. Unfortunately, this is something that cannot be fixed. We tried our best, and like I said, uh, I did not mind posting this video online so you can see what went behind the scenes in trying to fix this board. Hopefully next time we are more successful, and what can you do?